After all, care is a culturally appropriate mental health organization, and we use the concept of Ubuntu and the positive change model. Ubuntu is the concept whereby we believe in collectivism, not individualism. And this is how we live in Africa. And if you are hungry, you don't, make, don't need to make an appointment. You just knock at the door. But unfortunately, when we come here in Australia, that Ubuntu is completely lost. It's about the Ubuntu and positive change model. I went and did my general degree, and then I did my postgraduate in clinical mental health at Melbourne University. Black Rhinos, we started with 16 young men, now we have about five teams. When Corona started, I got a few boys from the Black Rhinos basketball, then we started the food relief program here. When they came here, they are not called Black Rhinos because there's no basketball. We call them the Ubuntu PA to PA Family Restorative. And these young people have been the backbone for the African community, especially those who work with us. They have been collecting food, we hire a van. They go and collect the food. They, they pack the food and distribute to the African community who are in our program. These young people were doing this work on a volunteer basis. They were at the forefront actually feeding corona affected people who were in isolation. And when I saw that the work was just beautiful, we wanted more food. And that's when I turned to Lily Techland from um, Grenada Rotary Club. She then went and spoke to cluster clubs. They started donating things here. And then she introduced me to you, Val, and also Dad. And you started giving us four, four meal, meals. And we have been distributing to the community. The Rotarians, what can I say? I'm a Rotary, uh, Rotary Club member myself. When I went to look for help, they opened their arms. If you come on Thursday, any Thursday, please interview the women. They will tell you that COVID was something that was very scary for them. But the young people going to their houses, giving them food every fortnight, it was something that they were looking for. And I will forever thank Val and Doug. We have been talking, yeah? Emails and phones. Who we'll come and deliver food and say, what type of food is this? So I was told how to cook it. I cooked and we have been sending to the women. They are very, very, very grateful. They will forever be grateful. And Rotary members under District 98, God bless.